Hi there, this is Sarah Mayhew with the Little Travers Conservancy coming to you on this beautiful spring day to do a little virtual field trip of one of our more popular programs titled Dirt Makers. Now the subject of today is going to be decomposition and uh, what that means, who helps with that process, and we're going to do some exploring in the woods here to see uh, what we can find. Um, so decomposition, basically what it is, is a process of breaking down organic matter, whether it's plants or animals, and turning it back into soil, okay? And there's lots of critters and organisms that help with that process. And so I thought it might be kind of fun if we, we poked around this woods today and, and uh, did a little exploring. So first off, I'm noticing this tree behind me. And that tree is down, probably from one of the windstorms we've had this spring. And you know, that tree's not gonna stay like this forever. It's gonna start to break down and turn back into soil. And there are all sorts of goodies out here that are helping with that process. Now the next thing I'm seeing is the tree next to me. What do we see here? We have some fungus. Now fungus or mushrooms, right? You've, you've heard of that term before. These are um, basically the fruiting body of what's called mycelium. And pretty cool. Mushrooms are pretty fascinating, actually. Um, so there's this whole underground web that connects this whole forest. And you can't even see it. It's underground. And these uh, mycelium are actually helping um, provide all these plants and trees with different nutrients and then in return they're feeding off the tree. So they have this really lovely uh, symbiotic relationship going on. Let's take a little closer look at this fungus here. So they shoot up this. This is basically the flower and it's a reproductive part and underneath here you might see it's kind of some black stuff and that is um, that's what's called their spore so that is like their seed and that's how they reproduce but if you notice here on this big beech tree that's dead right these mushrooms are growing off of here and having a good old time they're helping with that process of breakdown you can see how soft it's gotten so let's go, uh, let's go explore a little deeper in the woods, shall we? Okay, we came a little deeper into the woods. I found a nice couple logs I thought we could roll over and explore to see who's in there. Um, but before we first get started with that, I thought we could think about this idea of the food chain, right? So the food chain really starts with this huge ball of fire in the sky, right? There it is, the sun. And there are um, things that grow directly from the sun. They get their energy directly from the sun. So they use the sun, they use carbon dioxide and water to create their own food. You know what that is? Plants, plants do that. They're called producers, okay? So first you have your producers. And the producer we're gonna be exploring under today are logs, right? Trees. All right, so what else do we have? We have our producers and we have our primary consumers. And so those are the friends that are literally eating off of the tree, okay? Um, so thinking about maybe like wood boring kind of beetles, right? Bark beetles, um, carpenter ants, those types of critters, as well as the fungus that we saw. Fungus and bacteria live right off the tree. They get their energy directly from the tree. Next one we would have our secondary consumers. So secondary consumers are gonna be a um, little bit larger friends. So thinking about maybe uh, centipedes, um, salamanders, what else could we see? Wolf spiders, daddy long legs. Okay, so these critters are actually feeding off of the uh, the primary consumers, woodpeckers, right? All right, so then the last category we have is called scavengers. So the scavengers basically are going around and picking up the leftover pieces of organic material, whether that's dead plants or, or even animals, and um, then they're helping break down that stuff. So that could be your slugs, earthworms, snails, uh, millipedes, 
and uh, what else? Roly polies or pill bugs. So let's be thinking about that because as we explore, I have a feeling we're going to find some evidence of some of those friends. Okay, let's do this. Okay, here's a good log. Let's see what's under here. Well, you can see evidence of the carpenter ants. They were feeding right on the wood. Be your primary consumer. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Can you see the worm there? Mm hmm. You know that those guys are helping break down these leaves. You can see this is probably a leaf that fell last year. And look at this. See how it's really fragile and kind of broken down already. These guys would help that and they'd munch on those leaves and help put some good nutrients back in the soil. Oh, see something else here. There it is. That's a millipede. These are neat. They coil up when they get a little scared. I think this friend's a little, a little cold today. They usually coil up. They have a kind of a soft underbody with a bunch of a bunch of legs. They said they have a million legs, so they don't have a million legs, but they do have a lot of legs. Just kind of depending on their their size, they could have 15 to 30 pairs of legs. We learned that these guys are um, considered a scavenger, so they would eat off of dead plant and animal material. Very cool. Oh, here's a jumbo. Look at this guy. Yeah, you can see it's kind of munching around right there on this log. Lots of worms. I'm also noticing this, um, you can see these kind of look like roots, right? That's that underground web we talked about. Mycelium that shoots up the flower, which we know as a mushroom, right, or fungus. Okay, so one thing you want to do when you're rolling over logs looking to see who is underneath there is to make sure to roll it back because that's like the roof to their house, right? Be like if a giant came into your house and took the roof off. Centipede. See the centipede? And the centipede. They might eat little critters. Look at, oh, there's two of them. They're fast. They have a little venomous stinger that they can, uh, as their defense to help um, from being eaten. And then they can also use that to sting their prey and paralyze their prey to eat. Wow, that's neat. All the plants are starting to come to life. It's a magical time of year, springtime is. Check this out. This is a, called a snag. It's a dead tree. And I have a feeling there's some good things going on in this thing. Let's go check it out a little closer. Wow, look at the shelf fungus. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Those guys are having a field day on this tree. <gasps> Look at the size of that woodpecker hole. Oh my goodness. That's caused by uh, the big ones we have, those red-headed ones, the pileated woodpeckers. I'm seeing something else pretty neat here. See all those dots? All those little holes in a line side by side? Those are caused by yellow-bellied sap suckers. Yellow belly sap suckers are really cool. They drill holes like this, and those holes fill up with sap, and then a little poor unassuming ant insect goes in there and dies, unfortunately. But it's like a booby trap. So then the, the yellow belly sap sucker comes back later and gets his food. How cool is that? Nature is pretty impressive. Yeah, what a beautiful day. Let's keep exploring. Let's look under a couple more logs. Okay, this is pretty cool. I've uh, been noticing a lot of these 
Maybe you can see that little, uh, those helicopter wings, right? This is a better one. These are uh, maple seed. And um, I'm noticing out of this dead log here, if you can see right here, these are all new maple saplings. They're starting to grow right out of this dead log. So even though we might think, hey, this log is just dead. It's not really doing a whole heck of a lot. Not true. Um, because of those decomposers, we know that there are a lot of good nutrients in this log. And those little maple seeds are finding that a nice little bed to start growing. So full circle right there. That is the life cycle right there. What was once dead is birthing new life to, to new trees, which is pretty cool. All right, let's keep moving, shall we? Hey, whoa, look at this huge dead tree. This is a yellow birch. Very nice. I'm seeing all sorts of evidence here of various consumers. You can see we have our fungus, primary consumer, feeding right off of this decaying tree. Looks like we also have some larger holes here caused by woodpeckers. And we know that they're looking for something, right? They're pecking at the wood to see what caused all these little holes. Carpenter ants. Super nice. Let's see what we can find underneath here. Hmm. I don't always find critters, and that's okay. Oh, I see a little worm. We have had a pretty cold spring so far, so some of these friends might be still kind of hiding out. Oh, wow, here's a big guy. Look at that big worm. Mm-hmm. They're doing their thing. Thanks everybody for helping helping the forest regenerate and then look at this. If this is an example of a life cycle here, I don't know what is. We've got seeds right here. Little sprout. Little maple sprout growing right out of this tree. There you go. Life cycle. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed your walkabout in the woods with me as we explored decomposers and their vital role in the ecosystem. Um, I would encourage you to do some log rolling of your own if you have some logs nearby and see who's living underneath there. And as spring really starts to warm up and get going here, we're going to see new critters start to emerge. If you're looking for other interesting material, we have some downloadable worksheets and such that will help um, guide you in your observations into nature on our website at landtrust.org under our online learning page. And please be sure to check back weekly as we will be adding more videos on different topics throughout the spring. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day and that we see you real soon. Take care.